Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Battle Tech Advance 3062 We Know Fair Fight. Today I want to talk about the line holder. And we'll do the forward observers mission. That is a battle. Three, two and a half skulls. That should be fun. We've got good salvage rights, so let's hope for um, a heavy mech um, to call on. One of our machines, now a lot of our machines are damaged over time. So the question is who we take it to, who do we take into the fight? We could take the Orion. Um, but I'm not a big fan of the Orion as it is. I think our good old Centurion is the best choice. He's good at what he does, and he makes us happy all the time. We could also take the Hatchman, because the Hatchman is, Hatchman is sheer fun. Uh, however, I think the Centurion will do pretty well. So let's see each other on the field with the Line Holder. And here we are with the line holder. So what is the line holder, you might ask? Line holder is a humanoid 55 ton machine with two arms, no fists. It is, however, a best seller. It has a movement speed of five walking, eight running, no jumping, sadly. 14 heat sinks, which is quite good. 10 tons of armor, which is totally good. 160 armor points. Um, where is the enemy? The enemy has only one scout lance now. That will be easy. This will be easy peasy. This will be pickings. For sure. The only problem is we're in a town. So we might run into some hidden infantry. But we'll see. He has two LRM-5s, four medium lasers, and one large laser. And one ton of ammunition for the LRM-5s. So... What makes this make Max so sp You were hidden in that building, you little scumbag! Interesting move, sir. Not clever, though, because you are alone. And trust me, being alone in this world is something you don't want to be. Now... The line holder is your standard mech. You need a mech, you have a small purse, that's your machine. Because that thing is cheap as chips and still beautiful and does his job very well. There is a variant, this is the KW1LH2 and there is the KW1LH3. And that replaces the medium laser with pulse lasers and the large laser with an extended range laser. If you have the purse for that. But normally when you start buying um, this type of machine, you don't have that time, uh, that amount of coin. You know what I mean? Um, you buy this machine if you're low on coin. This machine uh, come is an after clan war era machine and it was mainly built for the Chaos March because there were so many factions fighting each other um, that everyone needed a machine. And well, they delivered. You're insane. This could cause an ammo explosion, you know that. You're already hot as hell. Okay, I will execute you. I should be moving fast and stuff, but you will die now. Simply because... Oh, damn it. I shot myself in the rear, did I? Yikes. I'm really sorry. No, it's not major armor loss. You lost... Oh, crap. They just got friends. Okay. We have to finish this guy off fast. Um, however, if I shoot too much, I think this is the best course of action. Well, a Kintaro is uh, a dangerous machine, yes, but um, carries more firepower, for example, than our friend. That should be enough to kill him. It is not! He is still kicking! What a monster! Okay, you know what? I will just flamer you to death. 
I will just put you alive on fire. We'll not fire the PPC, we'll just burn you alive. And we have a knockdown, and he should be hot as hell. Come on. You're telling me that pi pilot is not taking damage from the heat. I have problems believing that. Look at that, he's basically melting on the ground. So there was the Chaos March, this area that um, in the middle of the Inner Sphere, everyone was fighting over more or less, and everyone in the Chaos March was fighting each other. And so they needed a mech that was cheap, ready to do the dirty work, and capable of doing all the dirty work. And that was the line holder. It's a perfect machine. If you have, um, if you're doing role play, it's your machine for your players. That thing can do everything. Can fight at every range and get stuff done. Can be upgraded easily. That's a totally beautiful thing. Uh, I think we go a little bit forward just to find out what we're up against. And the archer um, is one of the slower mechs anyway, so the others will catch up easily. And I don't want to fire on the Kintaro anymore because... Uh, an enforcer, interesting. Not what I would have expected, honestly. We'll just run forward. We're a battle master after all, there is a reason we got that name. The line holder is not built for storming your castle. Please keep that in mind. Yeah, we'll not fire the SRMs and we'll not fire most of the lasers. We just want to know, want to do some damage. An enforcer is a good machine though. Okay, most of the enemy machines is light stuff. There is nothing heavy on the field. Wow, you're a good shot, sir. I give you that. Yeah, they're all. There's the scout lance that will be light machines, and there are these guys that are light machines. I think the heaviest on the field is either the enforcer or the... Yeah, look at the speed. It's a shame because I was hoping for loot. Wow! That was an impressive shot, sir. What the heck? That is a hellspawn! How is that possible? That is a, um... Clan error machine. It's not a clan machine, though. If I remember it right. Um, yeah, we should not, we should not hold up with the Kintaro, we should get our butts moving and engage the enemy now. Oh boy! That is a lot of strange machines we're up against. Okay, we don't care, we fire at them with everything we've got. Good shooting, sir, thank you. What kind of enforcer is that, by the way? A stupid one, obviously. Oh, he's got only a small laser because the rest is damaged. Oh, boy. Um, I could kill you, however, I should be on my way. This Kintaro will explode because of the um, heat. No reason for us to do anything here. That thing is dead anyway. Any shot we fire at this Kintaro is wasted. The Phoenix Hawk is a good machine. The Phoenix Hawk uh, Lamb is not a good machine. That's a disgrace to the Phoenix Hawk, if you ask me. Um, 
Would I play the line holder in tabletop? Of course. It's a solid, it's a solid 55 ton machine. I name you, I call you, name me one machine that is more solid than the 55 ton line holder. You will struggle to get one. This machine is good in every aspect. Speed, heat, well, it produces a lot of heat, but it has got 14 heat sinks, which is excellent. This machine gets the job done and it gets the job done well. Okay, I would be happy to move somewhere where I can actually hit something. We're a little bit close to each other, but this guy here, this guy needs it. And he will get it. That was a lot of misses. And no internal damage. The shame, the shame. What did I tell you? Every shot would have been wasted. Although we didn't get any information how much loot we'll get for that machine, which is strange because we should have gotten some. Um, yeah, we should move here because if we... Um, move here we might shoot our own machine and we don't want to have an extended range ppc shot in our back this guy just takes it you're a tough cookie mr enforcer i give you that The problem is that now all my own machines are in the way. This might hurt a lot. Yeah, we don't want to hit our own machines, so we're shooting at the guy on top of the building. Okay. We're hot anyway. We could get closer, but would that really serve us something? I think we should be moving here somewhere. It's hard to keep moving and still be able to shoot something. Um, that guy is unknown. Ah, yes, we have to move, we have to move, but where to move? This is three and bulwark. I think that is the best we can do. Although the archer will be open to get fired upon. Ooh, these are bad hitting chances. So I think the enforcer gets it. But he is still standing. What a tough bunny. Okay, you're a battle master. We'll just waltz right in, right in front of the lot and give you a good smacking. Oh, we can see what else is there. On the way, I think that's an Usil. I'm pretty sure that was an Usil. It is an Usil! Very, very nice on the cover of Mer Mercenaries. Mech Warriors 4 he is. Uh, extended range small lease. Oh boy, this guy got a lot of weapons. We'll not file the PPC, we'll just file the lasers. Okay, just take him. Oh, we should go into vigilance. No, we're not firing at that guy, we're firing at him. Yeah, take him out. You're, you're kidding. That guy's still alive. Amazing. I couldn't care less for you, sir.
What are you? You are the scout lines that were uh, tasked to destroy, right? We're a little bit outnumbered, by the way. A Vulcan! I think this was your city. Congratulations, sir. You played yourself. Oh, I don't like it that they're outflanking us. This could be painful. I mean, they're not heavy machines, though. They cannot be because of the initiative. We have the big guys on the field, not they. And the Hellspawn is running! Fear me! I'm almighty! Okay, we don't care. We get forward full speed and we have to take that uh, enforcer out. We have to reduce the number of enemy machines on the field. And he's burning anyway. So make me proud, sir. This is unbelievable. This guy's just taking all the damage. I will destroy the building you're on. Oh, if we destroy the building and he falls down, um, this will be great. How much can the building take? 60. If we hit the building, they will both, both fall down and he will take damage and he will be out of the fight. Brilliant move, Mr. Hacker. Yeah, destroy that building for me. <laughs> uh, I didn't kill him, though. Was hoping for that. You are so good at shooting, my friend. That is unbelievable. Okay, someone with a large pulse laser. I couldn't care less. Why are you jumping away? And why are you hitting that well? You know what? I will go and just punch your stinger to death. Because I can. Because that's what I do for a living. I will run forward and ruin your life. I should find out what is outflanking me, but my luck, it's a couple of atlases. We could shoot this guy, very bad chances of hitting. We could shoot this guy, bad chances of hitting. We could shoot him, bad chances of hitting. We could shoot him, but that will most likely simply kill him. Or we could take... Yeah, then take him out. You're dead. Fine with me, sir. Fine with me. This Usil is a killer. Just give me a second. And I'm back. I was running through the house. I thought my son was back. But he was not, apparently. Hmm. Well, that's life for you. Okay, we'll go here. We're ignoring the right flank entirely. It sets scout lines, and we're not fighting Steiner, so they will not be Atlases, hopefully. <sighs> well, chances of hitting are really... Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. We could aim at the building. 
and just fire that. <laughs> Never climb on buildings. Yeah, jumping is not your friend. I told that to you about a million times, but you did not listen. Okay, we have to go forward, right? The question is, can we shoot without hitting our guys before us? That's the main question. Um, oh, hitting chances are bad. We're not firing. That is too risky. Um, he's on the ground, right? So we'll move up here into the rubble. Stand on the fallen enemy. So that is the Hellspawn, that is a Wolverine, that is... Yeah, we killed this guy. Um, that is actually quite well armored at the moment. I think I will pierce your torso though, because I have no need for your machine. That machine is sick. That's a totally bad machine in my eyes. And we're getting a little bit hot, but we should be okay. Partial wing system destroyed. Was it enough to take him out though? No, it was not. But maybe High Roller can finish the job. We should stay on higher ground, but we'll simply follow the lead of the Battlemaster and get on to them. 40% chance to hit. That is not that bad, come to think of it. Yeah, but max of the field. We all know the trick. Running a little bit hot, but that's okay. He's out. We win, you lose. Yeah, bun salvage part, that's sad. But we're okay. We're okay. So they have one, two, three, four, five machines. And an oh, that is a strider and an Owens! We're totally okay. We totally don't fear those guys. That is crap, and the Strider is not my favorite. I had one, but no arms. I mean, honestly, no. So the next target should be the Uziel, because the Uziel is the problem. This guy got two uh, clan... You've got clan weapons? How? How did a guy like you get his hands on clan... Oh, crap. Oh, that bastard. How did he do that? That Vulcan. That bastard. Now, we have another machine um, out of the fight for repairs. We should be modifying machines, not repairing them all the time. It is really not okay for us. What a bastard! He shot me in the rear with a large laser. I would not, not have su uh, suggested that they're that tough. Okay. I can shoot you in the back, but the hitting chances are pretty bad. Um, I could, however, just smack you in the back, right? 
55. Your back armor is not going to take that well. What one can do, I can do too. Ugh. Or maybe I can't. How bad is my back? Uh, okay, damage is minimal. Yes, the laser, laser is crit hit, but let's be honest, the laser has to go anyway. We're not into medium lasers anymore. That timeline is gone long. Okay, you. Don't let me down, okay? Someone has to do the job. Two centurions against the Vulcan. Very good. Can I have some internal damage, please? No, obviously I cannot. The Uziel is back in the fight. Oh, he's using streak. None of the streak uh, hit, so... No damage done. Whoa, someone here is joining with a PPC. Okay. Um, you can go here. Chances to hit are okay with the flamers. We might flamer ourselves a bit. Maybe this is the better choice. So, that is a risky move, however. Yeah, but that will help with his shenanigans. Lucky me. I think the Battlemaster will just walk around and shoot them in the back. Okay, um, we have to deal with all the other guys. I could, but the chances of hitting are really bad. I could go here and shoot them, but they're not my problem. My problem are the guys in front of me. These are not the best hitting chances, however... We have to do something against the Usil. This guy makes me nervous. And Usil is a very, 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 very capable mech. Wait a minute. Isn't that a coolant changer? I could just go behind you and shoot you real hard in the back. That is an idea, isn't it? He's open. Uh, that's not my most brilliant idea because he will be an easy target. However, we're so hot that we cannot fire most of the weapons anyway. So we'll go into Vigilance. We'll aim at you. And we'll not fire any of those weapons. Uh, maybe this? Yeah. Someone just lost a lot of weapons, sir. Which is beautiful. He's still... We could do close combat, but that's not the job of this machine. Our machine... Our job is to get that Uziel down. And we can do this. This is a, um, a line holder, I would say. This is an Ostwar. And I totally love that machine. I think it's my new favorite. <laughs> oh, did you like that, sir? That was not intentionally. 
Um, well, not entirely intentionally. I wanted to destroy the building with the archer, but this is good as well. If we can take the Usil out of the fight, that would be brilliant. Yeah, we're overheating a little, but that's okay. And he's out. Three salvage ship parts! We got ourselves a new seal! Excellent choice, ladies and gentlemen! Excellent choice. Will not be an excellent choice if someone shoots my um, battle master in the back again. What are you? Ah, oh, that's the stinger again. Okay, we're fine. You just declared yourself officially dead, my friend. I, um... See your bravado. But... <laughs> I was a little bit too brave for your own good. Well, this guy might just get around and shoot us in the back, though. But he's no threat. Well, I said the same about the Vulcan. And now we have problems dealing with the Vulcan, don't we? We can shoot that building down and then this guy falls on his butt. That's a brilliant plan. The Hellspawn is back! Ooh, baby! Let's not forget that the Hellspawn is a dangerous target. It's a 45-ton machine, if I remember that right. I think I faced him first in... Um, can you simply smack him real good? Because that's a stinger. He should not be able to withstand that attack. Although you're not really built for close combat, are you? You should actually smack that guy. But then we have a problem that we're an easy target. But still, we have to take that guy out of the fight. And he should be by now. No, we did not. The guy's still alive. That is amazing. Oh, the Wolverine is back. And he does not shoot at the guy that is easy to hit. He shoots at the guy that is hard to hit. Um... I should totally go after the Yeah, I have to ignore I have to ignore the Vulcan for the moment. I still hope that the Vulcan kills himself due to the heat. And he lost most of his weapons anyway. Ooh. Excellent, someone lost his evasive. I should use more IC-20s. A blackjack omni. Ouch. Well, the good thing is the battle master can take it. At least as long as they don't get in my back. Okay, we go forward and destroy that hellspawn. That is a dangerous move, though, because they might get in my back. That is, um... A chimera. Oh, boy. A lot of unseen mechs here today. Oh, well, rarely seen mechs here today. Well, he's out. Only one salvage per part, but that machine is not our interest anyway. How is that possible? Shouldn't you be hot as hell? This guy doesn't stop fighting, that is unbelievable. We'll just go forward 
and hammer away at either the Wolverine or the guy down there. Whatever makes more sense to hit. Uh, what do we know about you? You have an extended range large laser. You're standing on a building. Okay, I could destroy the building. Or I could shoot at you, which makes a lot more sense. Just die. Okay. But he lost evasive, which means I can hammer him away with missiles now. Uh oh! That was a hard hit. Okay, we will hammer this guy full force. The good thing is we can then spin around and support our right flank with him. Because someone is just coming for us. You will just go around and punch this guy really, really hard, please. Um, yeah. The problem is now we are off offering our back again to the enemy. And we've got another Vulcan part that we cannot use because we've got, I think, four different Vul Vul Vulture, uh, Vulcans and they're all not compatible enough uh, to build one machine out of it. Otherwise, I would have built this machine a long time ago because I actually like the Vulcan. I know it doesn't show, but it is a fact. I like the Vulcan. I personally think that the Vulcan is a good machine. Okay, this is good enough for me to hit. I'm a little bit confused that the scout lance of the Draconis Combine consists of a blackjack omni mech. Wow. He didn't take any real damage. Impressive. Oh crap, I forgot that the Stinger can get behind me and shoot me in the back really, really bad. Okay, we totally have to deal with you, right? Can I finish you off? Yes, I can. Because if this thing shoots me in the back uh, of my already damaged Battlemaster, which he now no longer can, we're in big trouble. Solid. Okay, this guy theoretically can still swing around and shoot us in the back. No, he did not. And the Chimera is jumping down. Wow, you are an aggressive guy, sir. Okay, um... You. We could do close combat, but I don't want to. I want to get behind you and give you the swag of a lifetime. I know his frontal armor is through, so we could have attacked him from the front as well. And would have just just punched through because look at that. But his rear armor is still, even though just a little, um, and he's out. Three salvageable parts. We might make a fortune this time. Oh crap, that guy again. You're bad, that's not good enough to stop me, sir. Okay, the Royal Ost War. It's us on the move again. I love this machine. 
I love it more than the Marauder, although of course the Marauder is more capable. Um, that is the Chimera. That that is a Marauder. How is that even possible? What? That is a Marauder. How can they have a machine of that size on the field? I do not understand. This is two and a half skulls. And we were already fighting uh, a lot of machines. This is the 4R. I'm not impressed. This is official. I do not consider you a threat, sir. You want to know how it is to be marauding around? Well, let me teach you how to marauder. You're down, I'm up, you're out of cover, you're taking full damage, sir. That was a mistake. Oh, I'm not hitting half as good as I think I should. Ah, he's still in the he's still in the woods, okay. Structure exposed. Okay. Um, you are the flamer specialist. I want you to go around here and tell that guy that I'm not happy. This strider. I'm not even overheating. Isn't that beautiful? That looks like a lot of damage, but we basically only hit the uh, building. Um, yeah, well. I could get over here and get a shot at him. Hitting chances are bad, however. But um, at least he's a little bit in cover then. I think we need that at this point. And why not fire that at him and this and that and this and that and this. We're getting a little bit overheated. We should not overdo it. He didn't get damaged though. Ah, damn it. Would have been fun. Okay, Mr. High Roller. I need you to shoot that damned marauder to shreds. Why is it that the enemy has so many machines of that size? I mean, in total, total um, damage value, they're totally overwhelming us in tonnage and potential damage. And we didn't do anything. Would you believe that? Oh, the Owens. I forgot about you. Target acquired. Ugh. That means they might hit me a little bit better. If these are all Kurita machines, they might. I said they might even have C3 slave systems all over the place. And then we're screwed. A chimera. Boy, do you hate this city. I think your mainly occupation is to destroy buildings all the time. Okay, I have to run somewhere where I can still fire on that guy. But if I get any closer... Uh, 
That's okay with me. I have the range. I just need evasion and vigilance because it is very likely that they concentrate their fire on my strongest machine as well. No damage though. A shame, a shame. Interesting. Destroying more buildings. Whatever that's good for. Lord Darkie, I tell you what. I will go right into your face and ruin your life. Yes, I can be outmaneuvered, but he doesn't work. The Marauder doesn't work at close range very well because of his weaponry. Because that is um, the oldest mar Marauder. That is the basic, the prime model, so to speak. Well, that didn't help, apparently. I could hit you, but I sh I think I'm needed elsewhere. If I go here and fire at this, oh boy, are that bad hitting chances. Um, what if I jump here? That's a risky move. Ah, it could be okay. No, it was not. It was a gamble. Didn't pay off. Cannot always pay off. That's how life is. Okay, we have to go over there and concentrate fire on that guy here. 40% chance to hit isn't that big, but it has to be enough. If we don't take this Marauder down soon, we'll be in trouble because then he will hit us once or twice with his um, PPCs and that will really hurt a lot. Yeah, the Marauder is making a run for it. As I would. I mean, that's a 70. He's turning his back on me. Okay, I will just... Hit you really, really hard, my son. Because that's what I'm good in. Don't fight the Thunderbolt! Ooh, you're hot. And trust me, this will get hotter and hotter for you. Okay, um... I should probably not do this, but the Marauder is giving me his back. And that is something I cannot resist as a person. 33% chance to hit. That is really bad. And look at this. His rear armor is pretty good. Okay, okay. I cannot fire him in the back because we'll do no damage. I get that. So, you are the Chosen. Didn't do as much as I hoped. Um, I could hit you with everything, but I think I should just smash you real hard. Simply because you shot me. No, not you shoot me in the back, but one of your guys did that. Ouch. Okay, that was a good one. Give me a second. Damn it, I didn't look what happened. <laughs> I hope it was nothing terrible. 
Uh, is everyone still alive? It seems like so. Okay, okay. If I go here, what are my hitting chances in the back? 40%. Chances to hit this guy are better. So, we're going after him. And hunt the um, Marauder with the, li with the uh, big machine. With the Ostwar. That was pretty good shooting. Oh, don't. Yeah, he shot down. For a moment there, I thought he was going to, uh, you know, shoot me in the back. Okay, tell you what. I will jump behind you and shoot you in the back with everything I've got. Because you're an Owens, you will not take that lightly. Is he falling to his back? No, he is uh, not. What a shame. Oh crap, he's after my... No! Wow! This is the best series of shooting I've ever seen. That was impressive. Okay, you get the AC-20, you ask for it. I think we didn't get internal damage. The only machine that will be in repair after this fight will be the Battlemaster, hopefully. Oh, you are an idiot. 71% chance to hit and you blew it. And now the Marauder is coming back. If this continues, we'll need repairs. And I don't want repairs. Okay. I will go right in front of you and shoot you to smithereens. We should go into Vigilante just because. Wow, that was miserable. I think all the big lasers did miss. Okay, you will punch that guy. He's powered down. Well, he's now is powered down forever. No problem. Plus 70 heat. Really looks a little bit like the walkers from Star Wars for some reason. With this hatches on top. Well, not when you see the mech walking, but when you see it laying there, I think it has. Um, yeah, it feels a bit like that. Coolant. Minus 15 heat. I like that. We could really use that. By the way, cooling fluid of Max is highly toxic. Just for you to know. Um, wait, I could fire at the Marauder as well. Yeah, but the hitting chances are miserable. So we're taking this guy out of the fight. And look at that, we're not even overheating because of all that beautiful cooling, cooling fluid. We have a knockdown. The pilot, however, is still alive. Great. Um, 
I cannot run, that is a problem. I think I should just stand and deliver. Um, what is my heat? That that were so the so wanky is really a problem. Oh crap, they're faster than me, are they? He's getting back up how? This battle is not going well for us from this point on, I fear. Because somehow everyone that is left is faster than we are. And I didn't move my archer. That was a mistake. However, for some strange reason, they're after the Centurion instead of after the archer, which makes no sense. No, I don't need you. Um, how is your your you have everything in your in your in your face? All I need to do is give it to your face and be somewhat protected from an attack to the back. Right? If I just don't move and just fire at you, this is a risky maneuver. But it paid off. One salvageable part. Okay, that was a crappy idea. The blackjack is jumping. What on firepower this guy has. Unbelievable. Okay, can you do me a favor, sir? Just, you know, get pretty close to that guy and ruin his life for me. The firepower of this guy is unbelievable. I mean, that is a 50-ton mech? 45? I think it's normally a 45-ton machine. But this guy really does it. Okay, can I run behind you and ruin your life? No. Can I jump behind you? I can. Beautiful. That's all I need. Mr. Chimera, you will not like this. However, he didn't die. Which is a point for him, though. Okay, Mr. Thunderbolt, you're needed. But your jump jets are crap. That is sadly the best thing I can do at this point. Which tells a lot about the situation. We just need a little bit more damage to take that guy out, right? Um, extended range PPCs. Can we get on high ground and shoot this guy really, really hard? Can I just move here and shoot him really, really hard? The hitting chances are terrifying low. Which is strange. If it just stand and deliver... Oh, you should never stand and deliver. However, the archer cannot take it and we have to prove, we have to give him, we have to offer additional targets. Oh, he can run again, that's good news. 
Whoa, miserable hitting chances. I just move here. It's 33. Is there nothing better I can do? I cannot stand and deliver. I have to move. I need some evasion. Oh boy, are these bad chances. Well then, let's do that. Although I can almost feel that that is a bad idea, because my armor is almost through. Whoa, thank God. That was close. Yeah, you're out of missiles, but we're, you're out of targets. So I'm totally happy with that, sir. Absolutely happy with... I, I, I cannot move. Oh, damn it. We can shoot him, or we can shoot him. We shoot him because he's the better target. We'll be overheating a lot. That's not nice. Just a little bit should be enough. And he's out. Beautiful. The enemy is down to one machine. Question is, how bad is he handicapped? Ah, he's getting behind me and shooting me in the back. But you missed. That was your one chance to take me down, son. And you blew it. Because now... The Almighty is coming for you. With all his might and all his wrath. And... Fire! You're dead, officially, sir. Is it enough? No, he is still fighting. Tough cookie he is. Um, I will just turn around and shoot you at point blank range with everything I've got. Because I can do that. And you will not survive that. Your extended ranged laser is gone, sir. Yeah, I think we're uh, out of firing range. That's a little bit risky because I might hit my own machine. However, um, if I hit him, he will fall on his butt and that's worth it. Would have been so nice. But our hope, as always, lies in our Ostwar. That will get the job done. Totally. Because he's an Ostwar. He can do it. Is he out of ammunition? He is. And we're still a threat. And you're out. Beautiful. Three salvageable parts. Now that is a battle. Yay! Even extra payment. Ooh. Yeah, the battle master, the damage will hopefully not... Oh, so little experience, although we fight so many machines. Shame on you. Okay, we definitely do not want the uh, Marauder, because that's a piece of trash. The Marauder we have is good, because it is a royal Marauder. Um... This would be an idea, because I like the Usil as it is. I think that's a very capable machine. 
the Wolverine um, 7K has an XL pulse laser or large pulse laser small pulse lasers he's a bit heavier um, and he has jump jets the Wolverine is a good machine and he has hands and fists that the Uzil has not it's a hard question though but I think he's a lot faster he is we also have enforcer parts but I think this enforcer is no use to us and of course we have the blackjack omni mech which is beautiful we've seen that this machine is absolutely capable of doing a lot the problem is I don't like um, that kind of machine the Wolverine two SRM 6 launches 13 double heat sinks jump jets this machine is more um, versatile than this one here is a trio of streak SRM 6 and a trio of small ER lasers but he's got no fists you see and the Wolverine has fists so as much as it hurts me we'll taking the Wolverine but the weapon, look at the weapon, they even have clan technology at their disposal. That is amazing. Uh, which one was the one that has all the clan technology in it, I wonder? Well, okay, we at least did get some of the parts. We get a Blackjack Omni Park, a Chimera Park, and Form of Pulsar Park, and one Usil part. We've got a medium clan pulse laser. Isn't that great? I mean, that's clan technology. That's really cool stuff. Okay, um, I think when we re repair the battle master, we should, we should really, um, one day only, okay. But we could refit him at the same time. Because as he is, he is not that useful. He's not slow for a machine of his size but um, he needs double heat sinks without double heat sinks he will be no use so let's repair all and give him double heat sinks that's five days and he will be a lot more efficient then the weapons itself are okay-ish. We cannot put any more point defense weapons into it, right? No, we cannot. And he's covered with medium lasers. I'm not a fan of medium lasers, but with that heat sinks, I think he's actually able to pull it off. question is can we do anything to make him no, I think that's okay for the moment if we give him a better let's say we want to give him a better gyro defense system that is not bad that is not bad and ferrofibrous seven days we get 1.5 tons and we could put a guardian ECM system in, in, uh, into it plus one but he does not carry most of his weapons in his arm 
And he's not a brawler. He is not a brawler. Yeah, I think seven days, but we put the ferrofibris out. Five days is good for the moment. Um, we could, what is that? It's installed in an invalid location. Oh, it's the heat sinks. Because we've got the double heat sinks now. But we'll still be cool because. Oh, heat sinking. Ah, oh, okay. Um, we'll need some double heat sinks. Seven days. Heat sinking alpha strike. Okay. One more here. It's eight days. One more here. It's nine days. I think we should we should not do more than that. We have a little bit of of um He's using an SRM six. Pool could put the guardian defense system in plus one against being hit 0.5 and then we simply increase the armor to the rear because as we have seen that is nowhere enough fifty fifty five 55 okay that's nine days and he'll be a lot more efficient jump heat nine. Oh, we've got no jump jets but we'll deal with that later confirm let's see get away you can become a better pilot beautiful High roller, uh, you need points, okay. Uh, you should definitely become a better pilot, Mr. Pickle Pickleback. No, nope, you save your points and you become the perfect pilot. Beautiful. Never underestimate good defense against closed combat attacks, especially when you like closed combat attack yourself. So we'll stop it here and we'll see each other next time. Bye!